All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the start of 2024, and I thought it would be a good idea after yesterday doing my endangered MLB stadiums, stadiums that might soon be demolished, I would do an NFL version of this, and there are a few obvious ones, and then a few ones that might be a little bit far out, but they're stadiums that are getting older and they're not receiving renovations, but Let's begin. The first two, very obvious. The first one being Nissan Stadium. Very obsolete, very ugly. Nashville, Tennessee, it's a happening place. And they are getting a brand new translucent roof stadium. That's going to cost around $2.2 billion. Now, there was an idea and, and some renderings for a possible Nissan Stadium renovation, but the infrastructure, the actual stadium shell is completely unstable, and it, it's just such a bland, bad-looking facility in general. There's no point in dumping millions upon millions of dollars into trying to renovate this monstrosity. So this stadium, I would guess, would be demolished in 2028. There's no need for it. You could make the argument, well, it's Nashville. It's a big city. They could keep it and use it for other events. It's just not going to happen. They're going to demolish it and probably just use the space, redevelop it as potential housing or maybe just stores, businesses, whatever. But they do have a new translucent roof stadium. They can host concerts throughout the entire year, even in the winter. So that is going up in Nissan Stadium. Will be no more. This stadium was originally supposed to open their new one in 2027. They had to push it back a year. $2.2 billion, the translucent roof. Very similar interior design to Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, the Death Star. Obviously, the exterior is different. But the interior, you can kind of see a similar design. The other stadium we for sure know is getting demolished. It is Highmark Stadium, formerly known as Ralph Wilson Stadium. This is really the only remaining NFL facility that looks like a college football stadium. It really doesn't have an upper deck. Everything is very low and contained. They're building their brand new Stadium That's going up, and, and it's going to be opening in 2027 adjacent to the current Highmark Stadium. So this is going to be demolished completely, and they will be moving in. And it's interesting because their new facility, I'm trying to use different words other than stadium because I keep saying it 50 times, but their new facility will have an overhang to it. It's not going to have a roof because they like the cold weather culture. They still want to have the snow and incorporate that. So it's not going to be a dome or a retractable roof, believe it or not. There will just be a bit of an overhang to help contain the heat and bring it back down. They're going to definitely superheat the stands, keep all the fans warm, and also have that overhang, kind of like a European design almost, to where you're able to cover the fans from the elements, but obviously the entire Playing surfaces wide open, you get all of that natural light, although it will create some weird shadows. But old Hydemark Stadium, I don't think anyone has, you know, any qualms about it being demolished. Really, it never received a renovation. It was built over 40 years ago, and it's time for it to go. So 2027, it will be demolished. The new stadium being built adjacent to it. They need that area, that space for parking and for maybe a stadium district type development. Now, moving on to stadiums that we're kind of watching. We're not exactly sure what's going to be happening to them. There's no set date on them getting demolished. They could get a renovation, but there's some issues. The first one, it has to be Everbank Stadium. Now, this is definitely bottom tier when it comes to the NFL, and they've already come out. They've said, we're planning around a $1.4 billion renovation to completely change the stadium and add a translucent roof, but that still has to be passed, and they want the public to pay around a billion dollars in taxes for it. We're not exactly sure if this is actually happening. I would say there's about an 80% chance considering they already have the renderings, but this is a very complex project. It would involve the Jaguars moving out of Jacksonville very likely for two years as their stadium gets fully reconstructed with the brand new roof. We'll see if it ends up happening. If it doesn't, I'm not sure what happens to Jacksonville because there's always been the idea they'll move out. If they're not able to fund this, this is my prediction. I think it'll get funded, but I think the ownership's going to have to pay around 75%. The public will pay 25%. Right now, they want a 50-50 split. But either way, the stadium, I will say, certainly is in danger. It is a bottom-tier one when it comes to the NFL. I would say you could make an argument it's, it, it's one of, if not the top two worst stadiums in the entire league. The next potentially endangered stadium, believe it or not, this is one that not a lot of people talk about. Raymond James Stadium, very bland. <clears throat> 
I wonder what happens to it. You know, I did a video four or five months ago, like back in the summer, about Raymond James Stadium and its current predicament and dealing with Florida and all the thunderstorms and kind of just a bland overall look to it. There is the idea maybe they'll get some type of overhang, some type of roof. I would put this stadium on the back burner, but I would say four or five years, don't be surprised if there's, or even sooner than that, don't be surprised if there's huge talks of a big-time renovation to this stadium. The next endangered stadium, it is Soldier Field. Now, Soldier Field, we all know the story. They wanted to preserve it, so they tried to build the, build the new stadium inside of the old one. It ended up looking very strange. That renovation around $1.1 billion happening in 2002, and now there's talks of possibly the Bears moving into a suburb. Arlington Heights has been discussed. There's renderings on that. There's also renderings on possibly rebuilding Soldier Field again, where they're going to build it up even higher and make it almost look like a spaceship with a retractable roof. We're not sure what's happening here. This project, the, the whole idea of it's been delayed for a while now. It's like the Bears' ownership. They want these suburbs to get in a bidding war with each other, and they'll take the best deal. That's what it feels like from an outsider perspective, but we will see. I still think Arlington Heights is the favorite when it comes to the Bears, but they will likely be playing at Soldier Field until at least 2030. After that, who knows? I'm sure within the next year or so, we should be getting at least something in terms of some clarity on uh, this situation. The next endangered stadium, this one is obvious. It's FedEx Field. It is the worst stadium in the NFL. They completely botched whatever renovation they were trying to do. The stadium sat way too many people. They tried to remove seats, but they did it in a very cheap way, and it comes off looking completely dilapidated, and there was original dialogue with uh, the previous owner of the Commanders at the time, the Redskins, about a potential new translucent color changing roof stadium because they dealt with an ownership change it's completely tabled and postponed any talks of a new stadium otherwise I think they would probably be in the process of building a new stadium as we speak or at least close to it instead they're talking about doing some type of sham 60 million dollar renovation to FedEx field like that's gonna fix anything if I was the NFL I would say listen th this is disgusting you don't even have a stadium proposal or rendering ready to go right now all of the renderings I'm showing are old they're outdated they were under the previous ownership the NFL needs to step in and say this is a a dilapidated, disgusting stadium. You need to get something going immediately. We need to break ground next year, or I guess at this point it is 2024. You need to break ground late in 2024. Get this stadium ready to go by 2028 because this is disgusting. You can't be playing here for the next decade. I think the Commanders will get a new stadium at some point, maybe at the former RFK site because that stadium just got demolished. We will see. Either way, this is the definition of an endangered stadium for sure. The next potential endangered stadium, it is Cleveland Browns Stadium. Now, there has been significant dialogue about the Browns possibly adding some type of roof, some type of big overhang, making it a controlled stadium, or possibly building a brand new stadium altogether, which would be pretty surprising considering the stadium is just over 20 years old. I like Cleveland Browns Stadium. I think it's underrated. It went through a renovation in 2014 where they removed some seats. They put in some futuristic scoreboards. There's no big issue, but it would be interesting if they did do some type of renovation and actually added a roof, kind of like the Jacksonville Jaguars are doing. But where is that money coming from considering the Jaguars' renovation is around $1.4 billion for the roof and, and the renovation alone? The actual total cost of it's around $2 billion because they want to do a district, but Cleveland Brown Stadium would be interesting to see what they do. I do think Jimmy Haslam originally wanted to build a new stadium in a different area in downtown Cleveland or maybe even in a suburb, but that got shut down by the Cleveland mayor saying there was going to be no public taxpayer money involved in funding this stadium, meaning Haslam would have to, you know pay around 1.5 or $2 billion for a new stadium, which I don't think he wants to do. So it'll be an interesting situation to watch when it comes to the future of Cleveland Browns Stadium. Again, there's been significant dialogue here. We were, it was weird with the Browns. Back in April, they were like, oh, there's going to be a big announcement on a $1 billion renovation, and the announcement never came. They just said it was coming. There's also renderings. You can see the entire lakefront area. They're trying to re maybe redevelop it, which makes complete sense considering right now it's a dilapidated mess. It's just a parking lot. 
but either way, we will see when it comes to that. And then the final one, this one you can certainly say is a stretch. It is uh, Paycor Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. There has been dialogue in recent years about a potential renovation. It's very bland. It's in kind of a similar situation to the Cleveland Browns Stadium. But at this point, I would say... You know, you would think they would go the route of a renovation rather than do... It's it's weird. Like, do you really want to throw $500 million into renovating this stadium within the next four or five years? Or do you just want to say, screw it, we're saving the money, and in 10 years we'll build a brand new state-of-the-art translucent roof stadium in downtown Cincinnati where we can host year-long events similar to what the Tennessee Titans are doing in Nashville It'll be interesting to see what they decide to do, but it's going to be one of those two. It's the same dilemma the Browns have. These teams trying to switch to fully domed, translucent roof stadiums, they just cost so much money. Is it really worth it? Does the timeline line up? I mean, technically, you could say Nissan Stadium was built around the same time as Paycor Stadium and Cleveland Browns Stadium, so maybe both of these cities could say, let's just do the translucent roof, let's figure it out. We'll have to wait and see, but either way, guys, those are just NFL stadiums. There's a lot of them that are endangered, and then I, there's also another one I want to mention. It is Bank of America Stadium, and there's been dialogue about them possibly adding a translucent. I mean, it's just stadium after stadium with these translucent roofs. It, it makes sense, though, with Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina is a bigger city. Them getting a translucent roof, it wouldn't really surprise me, and that's a real bad stadium in and of itself. It's like a worse version of Arrowhead Stadium with the way the upper deck kind of loops down, but it ends up just being two massive walls of seats and a really obnoxious light blue color. One of the things I think they could do to help that stadium is change the seat color to a dark blue. I understand the Panthers' colors, light blue and black, but... Just in general, it really doesn't work when it comes to stadium seating. It comes off as very obnoxious and very childish, almost like a college stadium. And then you also do have potentially a mile high in power field at mile high. There's been dialogue about them possibly in the early 2030s getting a translucent roof as well because Denver, Colorado is huge. It's a hub, but they did just invest big money in a new scoreboard at Mile High, so I wouldn't expect a new stadium there anytime soon, at least for at least not for the next eight or nine years. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.